Hey guys, what's up? Andre from Beefy Techie here with another somewhat guide, bit of information for all you guys trying to use the browser source plugin and whatnot. I've seen a couple of people post videos and things like that, but a lot of people have been airing out some frustration to me via email. But um, basically, this is to basically help all of you guys out with this particular issue. What you need to do is you have to make sure that the browser source plugin is higher than the second source so what happens is like let's say I'm streaming you know my Xbox one which I have here as you guys can see there's motion here and things like that what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna start the stream up too and I am going to pop out this video and I'm gonna minimize this so that this way you guys can basically see what exactly is going on so what we'll do is we'll wait a little while for the stream to actually start and as you guys can see it is now starting and while we are doing that I'm going to actually add a browser source I'm gonna go in here first I want to actually start up T-board T-board uh, there we go gotta love this new operating system so I hit browse We'll go to documents because that's where T-Board pretty much stores all its stuff. And not VODs, not Twablers, but we'll go here. Notifications, OBS JavaScript, and then we'll pick this one. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this to 1280 by 720. I'm going to set this to 60 since that's what I'm streaming at. And just like that, we have the we have basically the overlay. But if you notice on the stream side, it is black. And as you can see, it's flickering a lot. What that basically is is on in OBS, it's not fixing the transparencies, so it's giving it. It's a transparency issue, so it's giving it some problems. So if I go ahead and I do the T-board thing, you could see it here, but you'll only see it here with the black screen. So once it's finished doing whatever it needs to do, it, you'll see it flicker once in a blue. In order to fix this, you need to add a source. You can make it an image source. If you have an overlay, go ahead and you can start using it. As you can see, look, there it is, and it's going to go away. Alright, so what we're going to do is I'm going to use an overlay that I normally use whenever I'm streaming first person shooters or even fighting games. Um, it's my regular. Hit OK. And that's it. Um, so now as you can see, if once I move this down, after you see the overlay pop on, once I move it a layer down you'll actually see everything the way it's intended to be in fact even if I go to T-board and I test it you'll actually see the overlay you'll see the notification pop up over this now I've tested this with every single twitch alert things that there are and I will say that yes they do work so what we could do is I can actually since I'm in Chrome already, we'll do this and I'll go here, I'll go to my donation, I'll take out the chroma key part, copy this, and I'll minimize this and what I'll do is I'll add another browser source on top of this. and. We'll do this, 580 over 1110, and just like that, it's done. So if I want, I can put this, let's say, right here, and it should work. So you shouldn't see a black area over what's supposed to be there, so as you can see. There it is, and then once it goes away, like I can move it around, it goes back to having a transparent background. So, 
there it is. If you guys have any further questions about you know, this particular video as well as anything else that you guys want to have imp implemented into your streams on OBS and you guys are having a hard time, feel free to shoot me an email. It's bifuplz at b-i-f-u-t-e-k-i dot com. Or you guys can follow us on Twitter. It's um, at bifutechi. You guys can always send me a message on there if you guys have any questions. I'm available on Skype. I'm available on our TeamSpeak. You, if you need any of that stuff, like if you need to like talk to me, I'm available all those places. Just ask me on Twitter, ask me via email. I can pretty much sit down, walk through this whole setup with you. If you need help with setting up certain things, I'm here to basically help anybody. So if you guys don't mind, I'm going to go ahead and watch, play some um, Killer Instinct. So I'll see you guys later.